If you were to get up right now and head to your local zoo or aquarium, you'd likely find quite some amazing animals out there. You could also find a couple of shark species living, for the most part, pretty well in captivity, but I can bet you, you will never find a great white shark, despite the fact that they are one of the most talked about species in the world. Heck, they were featured in Steven Spielberg's movie. The great white shark is one of the most iconic creatures in the animal kingdom. Its fearsome reputation has earned it starring roles in books, blockbuster movies, and countless TV documentaries. But while they're ubiquitous, there's one place where you won't find these apex predators, and that's behind the glass walls of an aquarium. That isn't to say that zoos and aquariums haven't tried multiple times to house great whites within their walls. In fact, every time a great white has been on display, crowds have flocked to see them in record numbers. And why that is good for everyone, it is bad for both the great white and the aquarium. But why can't you keep a great white shark in an aquarium? Well, stick around as we give you 5 reasons why no aquarium has a great white shark. Number 1 is a very good reason. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. 5. Not enough resources. It takes an insane amount of resources for the aquarium to pull a great white shark. It's very difficult to capture and transport to an aquarium, and let's be honest, not all aquarium has that Bruce Wayne kind of money to sponsor the trip of a great white from the ocean to the aquarium. Great white sharks are a logistical nightmare for aquariums and are incredibly expensive to keep as they kill and eat all other creatures in their tanks. When young, they eat all sorts of fish, but as they grow older great whites eat more of sea turtles, small whales and even mammals, their favorite being seals which are already endangered species. So not only would you have to spend a lot to catch and transport a great white, but feeding it would be very expensive. Aquariums would have to continuously restock a tank or dedicate an extremely large tank for the sharks to solely live in which is almost impossible as the tank would have to be kilometers long. Can you imagine? Having to provide enough meat to sustain a great white shark in an aquarium? A large, highly active, lukewarm-blooded shark that up close would make a whole lot of people piss their pants when it comes? 4. Their nomadic nature. There was once a time great whites were thought to be dormant in one location, but that notion has changed. A great deal of it has to do with the fact that great whites are unique even among other macro-predatory sharks. They're not just the largest carnivorous sharks alive today, they are the most active among their species. They travel huge distances throughout the year. They swim great distances, moving between territory and hunting grounds before coming back again. Keeping an animal that is naturally migratory has serious problems and will probably and usually fail. It is not enough to just raise an individual of a migratory species in captivity and think that that we can easily cancel out its drive to travel, great whites are hard to tame, and there is this thing called instinct and biological drive that plays an important factor compared to behaviors that you think great white can learn. Why do you think we can't keep the large whales in captivity? It's not because we can't build pools big enough, it's that we can't provide the habitat and resources that the wild provides them. And such that's one of the main reasons why great whites are unable to be contained, it is because they are nomadic and are adapted to traveling incredibly long distances quickly. Because of this, they struggle in the relatively small tanks of all aquariums, even developing injuries from captivity gained from repeatedly swimming into the walls of the enclosure. Because of their size and unique biology, when compared to other fish, nothing seems to be able to replace the open ocean for great whites. Sharks, like most fish, breathe by filtering oxygen out of the water that passes through their gills. While some fish are able to pump the water in and out of their gills using their mouths, sharks like the great white need to be constantly in motion for water to enter their gills. This means that when the sharks stop moving or slow down, they start to weaken and struggle to breathe and eventually die. 3. They die of depression. Yeah, we know it's a weird thing. You probably asking, do sharks get depressed? I mean what do they have to be depressed about? It's not like they school fees to pay. Well, it turns out that the great white really loves its freedom so much. It loves being able to move from one place to another without any hindrance. They are open water fish and cannot be confined. Tagged sharks have been known to swim hundreds of kilometers within a matter of days. This exercise and freedom are essential to their contentment. Once they get caught, it affects their whole being their nature. 
they get super depressed in captivity. Great white sharks that are kept within tanks have been known to headbutt their noses into the glass walls and also lose their appetites. They refuse to be fed by humans, leading them to either die of starvation or be released into the wild. As predators, great white sharks are natural hunters and need the thrill of the hunt to survive, they will not survive on already dead small fish. If they can't get this, they become depressed and start hitting the walls of the aquarium which will lead to injuries that will result to failing health and finally death. Throughout the years, many aquariums have actually attempted to showcase a captive great white alongside other sharks that you may find on display. But it never ends well for the great white shark. Attempts at captivity and display surged in the 1970s when great white sharks were advertised at SeaWorld and other major aquariums around the world. But unfortunately, the sharks did not survive long. In their tanks, the great white sharks would not eat and needed help swimming. Within days or weeks of their capture, they were dead. The longest a great white has been kept in captivity is 198 days which is about 6 months, and it was the Monterey Bay Aquarium that achieved such feat, but it wasn't easy. The tank was specially designed for open ocean animals, holding 3.78 million liters of water with a depth of 10.6 meters. In addition to the shark's demanding tank size and dietary needs, the Monterey Bay Aquarium had to transition the shark from its natural habitat to the egg-shaped tank by containing it in a 15 million liter open ocean pen. This allowed them to monitor the year-old shark's health and feeding behavior before transporting the shark from Southern California, where it was caught to the Monterey Bay facilities. And by the way, it was a young great white shark, about a year old, that is why it was possible. The young shark in question was only 4 feet long, while adult great white sharks typically measure about 15 feet. The only reason the young shark could be kept in captivity for that long was that its small size allowed for a relatively smaller tank, still 3.78 million liters, and the age of the shark meant that it was still consuming a diet of mainly fish, rather than the demanding and nearly unprocurable diet, seals, sea turtles and small whales of a more mature great white. It has also been noted that they get increasingly aggressive in their depressed state. Many people believe that sharks become depressed and even die in captivity due to aquariums using incorrect water solutions without enough saline. As great white sharks are saltwater species, it's absolutely crucial that the correct balance is maintained. 2. They are very aggressive. We all know how dangerous sharks can be, well, the great white tends to very aggressive in its depressed state. They're not super friendly, like a manta ray or school of fish, they're clearly apex predators with one goal in mind, hunt. Sharks are predatory themselves and may maul or consume tank mates smaller or weaker than themselves. Remember the prized white shark that survived six months in an aquarium, guess what? It was released back into the ocean because it attacked and killed two non-great white sharks that were in captivity with it. And that shark wasn't an adult shark yet, so you can only imagine the amount of destruction it might have caused with its aggressive behavior if it was an adult. Due to their size and aggressive disposition, great white sharks are incredibly hard to handle, most people would rather not go through the hassle and dangers of coming into contact with them, especially as keeping them content and alive in captivity is so difficult, then you now add the aggressive behavior, so not only do you lose a great white, you could also lose other forms of attraction, the aquarium loses on both levels. 1. It's inhumane. How would you feel if I have come to your home and dragged you all the way to my place? That won't be nice, right? And such we call it human trafficking. Some say that is what we are doing to these animals. We are taking them from their habitat where they are free and can eat and move as they want, only to bring them somewhere that is constrained. No matter the supposed healthy conditions most aquarium claims to possess it just doesn't beat nature. These sharks die quickly outside of the oceans, no matter what zookeepers do. The great white prefers to interact with their natural surroundings as much as they like, and taking that away from them is equivalent to taking their reason to live. So it's best we live them to enjoy the ocean to their content and hunt their food the way they love to. If great white sharks die in every attempt to keep them in captivity, do we really want to be trying many more times again? Some animals just aren't suited for it, and they are so much more impressive in the wild anyway. 
let's leave them be. In conclusion, there are countless theories as to why great white sharks have not yet been successfully bred and kept in captivity. But if you really want to see a great white shark that badly, then visit Gans Bay in the Western Cape of South Africa. It is undeniably the best and safest way to see these incredible creatures swimming happily in their natural habitat for yourself. It only takes a 15-minute boat ride to where the sharks are found, and they are seen throughout the year every day, with a 99.5% chance of seeing a great white shark on a trip. You wondered why aquariums don't show great white sharks, even though some facilities show larger creatures like whale sharks and orcas? You now know that it's not because it can tear you apart, as it is done to some people in movies, but it's for their safety. That is all we have for you today. Don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, till next time.